Marvel's Spider-Man 2 broke PlayStation's 24-hour sales record. To make this video more interesting, I will attempt my first challenge. Can you beat Spider-Man 2 without touching the ground? Hey hey hey! Welcome to my channel everyone, I'm the Global Cherry and today I will forfeit my sanity for your joy in this challenge video. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show. Today will be the glorious day where you witness a woman change after not touching grass. Video games have made it possible to eliminate problems with the push of a button, but I will be using them to increase my problems in this video and possibly develop an aneurysm from this run. It would make sense to increase the difficulty to the hardest level for this video, but because living in New York is tough enough, I played on amazing and gradually lowered the difficulty. After a few years from the last game, Peter still has trouble paying bills and faces unemployment. Damn economy and IRS. Now let's indulge in the masochism as many others have had playing Spider-Man games. The game begins when Peter and Miles have to stop a hangry Sandman from destroying the city. Therefore, we gave him some water and webs for sustenance before he violently threw us into a building. Now I I know what flying squirrels feel like. You should try yoga! We then get introduced to Craven, a depraved man with one goal in mind, to die. I asked for an equal, and this is what you find. My expression shifted to excitement seeing how I excelled at the challenge until my toes began gravitating to the ground to help an injured civilian. I've got you! Hold on! <laughs> no! You okay? I dishonored the gamers. On one hand, I'm standing on sand, so technically I haven't failed. On the other hand, in case it counted, forget this happened. There were also multiple robberies occurring in New York, and as usual, the police relied on two men in skin-tight suits to fix the issue. Did the Avengers go on vacation? To resolve the robberies, I resorted to combat on top of buildings or any form of scaffolding above ground. The robbers took turns beating me like a piñata, but I stayed strong. Oh no 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 no! With the spirit of Tobey Maguire and Stan Lee, I will prevail. What if instead of stealing, I'm you just gonna chill know, up here. Try to help <laughs> After retrieving Sandman's pet rock and accidentally touching the concrete, we saved the VIP from bugs, Jameson himself. Even after a near-death experience, Jameson will always take a chance to get a picture for the headlines. We're a menace after all. Oh, they kidnapped me! I did not consent! I <laughs> <laughs> menaces. I'm surrounded by menaces. As Peter, we tell MJ about her unemployment and reunite with our high school best friend Harry, who proceeds to break into that same high school to relive old memories. High schools do open, Harry. Then the scene shifts to teenage Pete and Harry breaking into Midtown High to steal a flash drive. Oh challenge, I'm never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. <laughs> 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 Craven's hunters finally arrive in New York and attempt to capture Scorpion and Mr. Negative, so we resorted to combat on top of boat debris and in their hideout. Using my gamer skills and a new grapple, I proceed to turn the hunters into Christmas ornaments before they try to return the favor. Come over here, buddy! I then check their terminal to uncover their search history, only to be attacked by robotic dogs. The dogs knew what kind of weird illicit content they were watching, therefore I cured their trauma, calmly told them to roll over, and fed them dog treats, the hunters. You won't live long enough to help anyone! Wanna bet? Yeah! Craven kills Scorpion and looks for more targets to give him a fulfilling death. We also protect Peter's ex-girlfriend, Black Cat, from the Hunters, as she stole an ancient portal artifact, possibly from Doctor Strange. Bye, Felicia! Oh. Woo! Oh. After experiencing pyrotechnics in the Mysterium and Harry's motion sickness, we try to protect Tombstone from the Hunters while remaining above ground. After uncovering Harry's secret of wielding the symbiote, we rescue Tombstone with the power of friendship. Stealth did not work, so we had to rely on friendship. We got this!
MJ then embarks on an intense stealth mission to free Dr. Connors, aka the Lizard. We may not be allowed to touch grass, but she is. After the epic stealth mission, Craven injects a serum into Dr. Connors, turning him into the Lizard, and we buy time for an antidote. By holding off the hunters above ground, as Craven almost sends Peter to the afterlife, Harry unknowingly transfers the symbiote to him, making him the Venom Spider. After rescuing a supplier for the hunters, despite compromising the mission, we sneak into Craven's secret hideout to steal the serum. Little did we know, he was a cat person. Nice, kitty. As our cover was blown, we defend ourselves from the hunters and Craven's powerful blows. <laughs> We then return to Oscorp to formulate an antidote, only to be under attack by the hunters again. So using our new Venom powers, we showed them that gravity always prevails. That bear cosplayer learned his lessons quickly. He will never steal picnic baskets again. I'm fresh out of honey. As Miles, we go to our father's grave for advice. As much as his death was devastating, we webbed a path towards the gravestone with immense efforts to not touch grass. We uncover Dr. Connors' secret hideout and face hunters from the high ground. Damn it! At the Harlem Fish Market, we use a grappling hook to web ourselves a path to Connors' underground lab. But the game malfunctions, plunging me into a brink of insanity. <laughs> The tool that was pivotal to my success became my weakness. Therefore, I came to the conclusion, even if I fail this challenge, I will fail victoriously. That's the wrong kind of motivation. Anyways, we pursued Connors and delved ourselves deeper into a hole underground for another boss fight. We tried injecting the antidote into him, but Connors had a fear of needles. <laughs> it's just a needle shot, Connors. <laughs> Such an aggressive way to give someone medicine. As Peter, we gained obsession with our symbiote and left our girlfriend helpless in a home invasion. As Miles, we tried to snap our friend out of his obsessive trance of tentacle power and fought off Hunter stealthily on crates and rooftops before eventually getting kidnapped. As MJ, we thought we could change Peter back to his normal self, but he didn't want to be changed. My name is Miguel O'Hara. I, I come from another dimension. Miles attempts to escape a high security prison and eventually breaks the game as he uses the grappling hook once again to enter small spaces. Game, I'm glitching. <laughs> The hunters broke every desk I could possibly stand on to sabotage my plans. And it worked. We find ourselves in an arena fight against Mr. Negative, and I realize how much he's changed since prison. He must have witnessed someone drop the soap. As Peter, we go on a rescue mission to save Miles from Craven, and after climbing to a platform, I begin to pummel Craven and fist him. Wait a minute, that sounds wrong. So this is gonna be a long fight. For a oh, don't worry, you're not gonna be disappointed. Me. Enough talking! Craven awaits us to grant him death, but Miles refuses to let that happen, determined to get his friend back. After Peter brings the symbiote to Oscorp, Harry furiously takes back the symbiote and transforms into Venom, terrorizing Times Square and touching the ground. To be fair, we don't have wings, so it's not like we could fly. I spoke too soon. There are worse things to be upset about apart from the symbiote. Like the Morbius movie. That movie sucked. After Craven was granted a gruesome death, Venom created prolific numbers of symbiotes that matched the colors of Skittles. With the plot armor of an anime protagonist, I believed no challenge stood in my way. Therefore, I defended the city against the symbiotes, whether it's underground, on a crate, on a boat, on a bus, above the goop, and on the roofs. Harry holds MJ hostage and turns her into Scream. So we came to a solution to get our girlfriend back, which was more effective than couples therapy. Words of affirmation and acts of violence. <laughs> The final part of the game arrives and we form a plan to steal the alien rock from Venom. MJ enters a symbiote nest with a sonic gun, and like a baddie she is, she succeeds at stealing the rock barely escaping by the skin of her teeth. Ah! MJ, run! You have legs! Use two of them! 
Venom welcomes us into the Brotherhood multiple times, which gives me the impression that he is lonely. If only he had a son named Carnage. He raises the floor of the high school gymnasium into the sky, which made it easier to excel at the challenge. Miles has his time to shine as he defeated Flying Venom while airborne, which was difficult to accomplish. For a moment, I thought my free trial on life had expired in that last fight, until the game concluded with a happy ending for Miles, Peter, and MJ. <laughs> Ah, my butt cheeks were no longer clenched, and I was able to breathe a sigh of relief. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want me to try out challenges like this. This was actually very fun to try. Comment down your opinions on this game. Did you enjoy it? Did you find it better than the first Spider-Man game? Thank you for watching, and that's all. What are you writing? The final chapter.